Sip tea light it up. I mean, uh, I know we don't have our cups right now. It's okay, but yeah. I'm definitely going to light it up. Yeah. Light it up. I'm going to light it up. I, I love it. Even though she's getting a lot of backlash for doing the country thing, I really enjoy Beyonce challenging herself. I think that's awesome as an artist. I give her nothing but all the credit totally in the agree. world. That's just awesome. She has a beautiful voice as always, and I just I like it. I mean, I think she's she's going to do her thing and I'm looking forward to this country album. Uh, I think it's going to be a great album. I think that it's like the uh, some of the articles are saying Beyoncé's fans a request reignites country music debate. Hmm. Because some people don't want to see her in that category. They feel like she either doesn't belong there. And you're a pop artist, an R&B artist. How dare you come over here? But I think as an artist, aren't you able to express yourself? And you, you said exactly what I was going to say. Whatever you want to create, right? There's no limitations on your creative ability. And I think that's great for Beyonce. And why not open up a new world for fans to embrace this? But right? you know what's so funny about it? That you just brought up what I was going to say. Because what's the difference with Post Malone doing congratulations? Of course. And then going and performing with a guitar at the Super Bowl. A, what, what, a, a banjo. A, a banjo. <laughs> a banjo. What, what's the difference? But no one's saying anything about him. Well, there's clearly a difference. There's clearly oh, a of difference. Course. Of course. You know, you know um, there's that, clearly that, a difference. elephant in the room. I'm just not going to. Exactly. <laughs> but I think that as artists, people that are not artists need to respect the artistry. Yes. Right? Whatever I want to come out with is what I want to come out with. Yep. And who knows how long Beyonce has wanted to do this. I was born in Texas. She's she's from Texas. I believe she was born there as well. Yes, Houston. Bruh, Texas is a is a country southern state, man. There's it is. country music all the time. She she's paying homage to her roots. Exactly. She grew up listening to that. When, listen, Toby Keith when he passed away, it hurt me. I used mm. to listen to I Love This Bar and Kiss Me Like This. I mean, wow. I used to listen to those kind of songs. So wow. I understand. I think Beyonce, she's going to win a CMA Music Award, bro. You did tell me this, and I, I said it. I did. I did. I said it. Look, you heard it first from Junior Leto yeah. on Luminary Sounds. Junior mentioned this to me. She's going to win it, man. She, I will sit there and look at the TV like, wow, she did that thing. She's going to win, or she might win a Grammy in this category. Now I got a question though. So most people are shunning her right now. Do you think that the people that are the powers that be that handle these award shows? i.e. country music awards are going to listen to these people shunning her and go eh we're not even gonna nominate her no nah, i don't think so i think there is an issue with somebody being nominated or winning that many grammys but not album of the year i i, I see a problem in that i really do a jay-z uh, address jay-z address and maybe he did it because it was his wife uh he drank a little bit said a little bit too many things some of you don't even belong in the category right it's all, you know, subjective to your opinion. Because we all know it's going to be a big time project sure. whenever it comes out. So, yeah, of course, whenever you have big time projects, those are normally the projects that gather nominations. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when she didn't get album of the year nominee and that was a big lemonade was huge. I mean, she, Bro, that all, album, her, all her albums. Are that huge. album was crazy. Yeah. So. It just makes me think. I'm really curious to see what happens when yeah. that country music award comes around. Yeah. And uh, is she going to get nominated or they're just going to look the other way? Lemonade was such a good album. You had women in the beach doing one of these uh, all over the country. <laughs> right. Doing some of these, right? So that's how big right. the album was. Lemonade came out of nowhere. It she did. was truth telling. Should have won a Grammy. She had the visuals to go along with every single oh, video. Great album. Uh, every single uh, song. Put, me, put, you know put men in their place in relationships of how they treat their women, right? Right. And for her to be like, I don't care if you're Jay-Z, you're not going to treat me like this. You're going right. to respect me as as a as a wife, a right. woman, and you're going to, you know, Fidelity, whatever the situations were, the Becky with the good hair, all of that, right? She <laughs> laid it on the table. And she you got to respect her artistry and put it into her life. Yeah, no, so, you do. You do. I mean, shout out to Beyonce. Continue to challenge yourself yeah. with the great artist that you are. We got number love over here for you at Luminary Sounds. Yeah, Luminary Sounds, 99.3 FM. Hey, this is Janet Jackson, if oldie but a goodie. Yeah. Isn't that crazy to say oldie but a goodie? Man, Janet Jackson. <laughs> we'll be right back.